Hello? Is anybody out there? Uh, testing? Oh, there it is! All right. I know what I'm doing just a little bit better than I did last week, so. <laughs> okay. I'm opening up a separate window so I can see the chat. Ooh, ooh. All right. Yay. Hello. <laughs> I, if you can see me, let me know. I'm going to refresh the little window. I'm watching the chat in here real quick. Um, let me know. Yay! Refresh the little window. I'm watching the chat in here. Real quick. Okay. Pause that. Okay. Cool. Okay. So yeah, it's eight fifty nine. So we started a couple minutes early. Um, update the comments automatically. We'll try that. Hi! Look, we're wearing the lipstick shirt. <laughs> this is my lipstick sweatshirt. Yes. Um. <laughs> my it's not quite a jumper it's just a sweatshirt so um i got this from macy's and you know how when some stuff goes on sale sometimes what maker she's uh we've given her a paper bag to play and she's going crazy um but like when stuff goes on sale sometimes and then you see like a full rack and it's like gosh i guess nobody wanted whatever this thing was because like it doesn't look like any of them sold that was the way it was with these shirts and i see it and i'm like yeah <laughs> i must have this it's kind of like a wider wide neck here on the thing so i put a tank top under it to prevent any bra strap mishaps but, um, so yeah, never too early for a smoky eye, right? Will anybody agree to that? <laughs> uh, beverage this morning. I am trying out this Starbucks Refreshers Raspberry Pomegranate. It does smell very raspberry-ish. And it says natural energy from green coffee extract. Anybody like these? I just picked up a couple when I was in the beverage area of um, Walmart, and I thought it looked good. It says real fruit juice, B vitamins, and ginseng. So I don't know if maybe the comments are on a little bit of a delay. Not sure how to dis how to test that, but there are 92 people watching. Cool. So yeah, I, I put all the makeup I'm wearing today, I set it aside in a basket. Ugh! Ugh. <laughs> a lot of products on my face today. I just, you know, I get in those modes where it's like, I want to try this and I want to try this and, you know, start layering and layering. You ever get like that? You just want to try stuff. So you end up using like a zillion different products. Not necessary, you know, you didn't have to, but you just did. It happens. Yes. Um, also, things you can expect in this video. I'm going to show you the NYX stuff that I got from Hot Look. Came in a couple days ago, and um, I I did blog about my like NYX Hot Look recommendations. So I'll show you those things. And oh my goodness, Estee Lauder Mad Men collection. It's going to be great. I'm going to show you that stuff too. I'm not ready to review it yet, and I will review it in a video. Um, but the premiere is coming up, I believe, a week from this Sunday. So any, if there are any Mad Men fans in the house, you've been waiting a long time, just like I have. But um, let's see here. We'll make sure that the comments are working. Oh, any first-timers here today? Any first timers? <laughs> Yay, I have sound today, says someone. They're delaying and then bombarding. <laughs> um, because I love it when first timers find this. Because 
it's kind of like, you know, we talk about makeup, but we talk about a lot of randomness as well. Um, don't be surprised if you see chipmunking. Don't be surprised uh, at the end when we create our hashtag of the week or our phrase of the week. So um, my hair, this is actually second day hair. Um, so I did my hair yesterday with my, you know, there are two sizes. Peace. There are two sizes of the Remington T Studio Pearl Styling Wand, the light pink one. Um, and so yesterday I was doing my hair and I used the smaller one. And I will tell you, that small one, the big one to an extent as well, but my curls last longer with that little styling wand than any other heat styling device. Um, uh oh, this is going to make me burp. <laughs> um, this thing is going to make me burp. Um, but it makes my curls last longer than hot rollers, um, than curling my hair with a straightener, than using any other curling iron I have. The curls last so long. So now, like they were a little bit of uh, like a tighter curl the other day. I wonder if I can turn this light on just for a second and maybe you can see the curls better. Maybe not. But now they're just a little more wavy. And I like it, you know? I, I like being able to wake up and be like, okay, well, that looks decent, I guess, you know? So, yeah, I you can't not wear, like, a red lip when you got red lips on your sweatshirt. <sighs> Do you have any tips to stay happy and motivated? Well, I would suggest having something caffeinated in the mornings first such as a coffee beverage or something like this. Um, but, no, really, I think um, I think it's important to just to have things to look forward to. You know, like if you're going to work day in and day out, and maybe you're not loving every minute of it, but you have something, maybe just a small thing in every day to look forward to. Um, you know, maybe it's your favorite show at the end of the day, or maybe you've got like a little vacation planned or some kind of trip or something like that. I think... Um, having something that you can kind of a little bit off in the distance that you can be working toward or like an incentive to reward yourself with. I think that helps you kind of maybe um, think that there's a little light at the end of the tunnel of whatever you're doing and um, something to keep you working hard, I guess. Um, but the more you can spend time doing things that you truly love to do. I mean, I know it's not always easy to say that because you know, you, you may be working in a job that's just not your favorite thing right now. And if you had your choice of anything you could be doing, it might not be that, you know, but it's what's paying the bills at the moment. And um, I think that if you can find time for a hobby or an outlet of some way, um, I've always been a person who's had kind of like that that thing on the side. Like when I was in school, um, like cheerleading was my thing thing, you know, so I always had this, this outlet where I could, you know, put my energy into it or put my interest level into it and, it, you know, give me something to look forward to and something to be very excited about. So I guess those are my little tips there. We've got a good morning from Belgium. What's up? Yay. Um, Kim, Kim, are you still waiting on your look order? Yeah, it was on, NYX was on a couple of weeks ago. And what I'm trying to start doing on my blog is um, when a brand that I'm familiar with is being featured on there, a makeup brand that I know about, um, I'm trying to get in there and see, see what they have. Um, it could, the stuff goes live, the new sales go live at like 10 o'clock my time and see what there is and if there's anything I'm familiar with I can blog about it real quick because I do get a lot of tweets like if some people know you know I'm I like Laura Geller stuff or I like Nick's stuff or whatever brand it may be and I get a lot of questions if there's something I recommend so I just thought a blog post you know this is what I know about this is what I don't know about um, might be useful I guess so yeah Yeah, major delay on the comments. I'm not sure what is going on. Um, 
Should I talk about the makeup? Oh, we got first timers. We got, oh my gosh, it's flooding. I cannot keep up. Vermont, lipstick, Massachusetts. Hello, Middle East. Okay. Um, yeah, let's talk about the makeup. I mean, are you ready for this? Because there's a lot of makeup that I'm wearing on my face right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. Uh, talked about this in a video. Oh, by the way, check that out. Chippage. As soon as I blogged about this lasting me, <laughs> it chips. Anyway, uh, wearing this foundation, good coverage, good staying power, nice finish, really like it. Um, for concealage, I am using, I'm kind of pulled out, you know, I try to pull out some random things from my makeup that I haven't been wearing a lot each day, try to just grab for something different. Today it was the Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector from Neutrogena. I have this in light, and so I use this under my eyes. Um, I wouldn't say it's something you want to use if you've got major problems under the eyes. Um, and then for some other spots and redness, and I've got like two zits on my face, one down here and one up here. Thank goodness for the low-quality webcam. <laughs> um, but I used the Revlon Photo Ready Stick, and I just kind of went over those areas. So that was easy enough. And something I've been doing lately with powder is not using um, not using just one shade of powder all over my face, but I'm using two. Um, a lighter one, and it's not really contouring, you know, but it's just kind of like, um, because I am contouring in a, a separate step, but it's kind of just giving, keeping everything from looking too flat and masky. And so my lighter powder is this... Um, Maybelline Shine Free in Golden. So I, I just put that on the T-zone. Also, I put a more oil-absorbing powder in this central area of the face. So forehead, nose, and under the eye lightly. So I've used that lighter, more oil-absorbing powder there. And then I've got a powder that's just a little bit deeper. And this one actually has kind of a luminous finish. This is the new Mali um, Diamond Unpowder. I got this when I ordered the latest today's special value that she had. And I'll probably be talking about some of those different products in a blog pretty soon. But this is like, um, I guess the point of this is that it's a powder that is not entirely matte, although... Excuse me. <laughs> I can't find shimmer in it either, really. It reminds me a lot of NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. That's what that sort of thing is. So, got that on. Uh, did a little contouring with this. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil uh, bronzer. Smells so good. And then I used... Bring back this bad boy. This is my um, Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow. And so it looks like that. Yes, I've hit pan. This is a monster. And you can use a kabuki brush. You can use a little puff. And I just put it, you know, all over this general area. I mean, I feel like I'm getting kind of washed out here. But as I look in my other mirror, I'm like, oh, nice and tan. Um, so, <laughs> yes, I am hitting pan on a lot of things. Um, so... I use this, and you can use it all over your body. It looks gorgeous if you're going over your legs with this, down your arms. I mean, it's just a very bronzy, shimmery kind of thing. And if you use it wet, that's when the darkness of this really comes out. So I just kind of keep this, stow this away, and I'm starting to reach for it more this time of year. Um, saving this for a moment, Mad Men. <laughs> love it! Love that packaging! Um, and so that was my blush. Uh, for a highlight, this was a good question I noticed on... Shout out to India! Um, <laughs> this was something I noticed in the comments of my last video. Someone was saying, I have very fair skin. Um, is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana going to be too dark for me as a highlight. And I I said, you know, I don't think it would be because I think you can wear it sheer enough that it's not going to show up with much depth. 
but I asked if there's any other really fair people out there tell me what you think a lot of people said it works just fine as a fair skin highlight and then some other people said it might be a little dark so I looked through and I found another highlight that's nice um, this is not drugstore but it's Laura Geller in baked highlighter in French vanilla and it is the very same finish as Reserve Your Cabana. And by that, I mean that it's not sh like overly shimmery. If you've tried Reserve Your Cabana, you know that it is not a super pearly, metallic, shimmery highlight. And, you know, there are reasons we want that. We want the brightness, but we don't want all the shine. And so this is that same kind of thing, but it's a little bit lighter. So if you're really desperate, I mean, if you really need help in that area and you want something lighter than Reserve Your Cabana, um, this may be a small size. This came in a kit that I got. Um, but it's Baked Highlighter in French Vanilla from Laura Geller. Same finishes as Wet n Wild, but just a little lighter. So I'm wearing that today. Um, what else? Uh, pulled out this Jessie's Girl palette I talked about. Anybody see the haul? Um, uh, not incredibly wowed by this. It's just, they're all, and I, I knew this get going in and getting it, but they're all the same finish, you know? They're all just shimmery eyeshadows. There are a lot of palettes that can give you this. I feel like it's maybe not quite as pigmented as, say, like my Coastal Sense shimmery stuff. So I'm, I'm not seeing this as a mega must-have, but I did use a much more color payoff with the sponge tip applicator, might I add. Um, but I used this red on my lid. I used some of this charcoal shade, and then I pulled in another black to just deepen it, um, deepen it even more. So, got that on. And I wish you guys could talk back. You know, that would be fun. Because we did we did have when we did the Google Plus like the the actual like hangout. Only ten people could join, but they could talk back and it was it was really cool. Um but anyway, I, I used this as a primer, the benefit stay don't stray, just a little size. I said I had a lot of products on. <laughs> Um, I use my Milani Color Play Felt Tip Liquid Liner Pen on the upper lash line, Urban Decay Zero on the inner rim, Mali Instant Impact Mascara. This was another thing that came in that today's special value from a while back. And I, you guys know I don't like a lot of mascaras right off the bat, but, and I love Mali Volumizing, but this one is pretty good. It's like a little, doo -doo 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 -doo. and and it's it's got like little, um, it's like scalloped practically, and it is a rubber brush, and it it works really nicely. Very good about not clumping. Um, very good about being buildable. So, I'm liking that. And uh, the lips, the lips. This is from the new NYX stuff that I got. This is NYX matte lipstick in Merlot. That's the lipstick I'm wearing now. That's all I have on. So, uh, really pretty color. I mean, it's it's not red red. It's a little bit berry. So, uh, uh, is it better, Ava's Beauty Talk says, is it better than her volumizing mascara? Um, I can't quite decide yet. I, I feel like the volumizing just builds so much thickness so quickly, and maybe if you don't want as much thickness and you want more, like, of a, more separation, this might be your thing, but I'm going to keep using it because I'm always, like, I can be like a roller coaster with mascaras. That's why I never want to review any of them too quickly. Um, because things change. <laughs> and um, Elf Eyebrow Kit, Elf Studio Eyebrow Kit. Oh, and I was also wearing Well Rested to set the under eye concealer. And I contoured my nose. <laughs> Some people, I think uh, from way back in the day, when I first was doing videos, and I think I just had really poor lighting, and I would get a lot of comments saying, you contour your nose way too much and this these were my early days I didn't even know people contoured their nose you know so I'm like what are you talking about I think they're just talking about like nature's shadows you know that is nature <laughs> I was not contouring I, I never really did much of that and I didn't 
ever really know how and so no I never I never contoured my nose um, but now I have this this is another Mally thing that I ordered um, it's the Pro Tricks nose contour so it's like a matte not too dark shade and I and a little brush and so I basically go and then down the middle with the highlight so I don't know um, it's I don't know how I feel about it. I, first off, I do think that it's the perfect shade. That contour color, um, it, it's so not too dark. It's not muddy. Like, you can put it on. You don't even feel like you have to, you know, like, oh, my gosh, I got too much. I need to blend it out. It's very workable. Um, I'm, I don't love the, the shimmer. It's a very sheer, light shimmer. I don't like a lot of shimmer on my nose. Maybe that's just it. But... You know, I'm I'm playing with it. I'm trying it, and I uh, it it does does come with this double-ended brush. One side's a little smaller, one's a little bigger, and like I say, you just go down the side. Um, I think it could be used. My nose just naturally, you know, it comes out from my face a little bit. Like I'm not one of those people with that's very flat across here, so I don't necessarily need a ton more nose definition. But you know, I'm just addicted to trying new products, so. I felt the need to investigate. <laughs> um, Lindsay Does Nails says, thank you for the recommendation on Rimmel Lipstick in 103. Love it. Woo! Um, where do I have this? Okay, I Instagrammed this picture, a picture of this. This is the Kate Moss. Has anybody tried these matte lipsticks? I swear, they are so smooth. Like this next matte one that I used, you know, it's a little bit dry. It's not bad, but it's a little bit dry. The Wet n Wild ones, I feel like, are pretty darn dry. But this matte lipstick, this 103, um, and there's a line of them, but I have 103 Kate Moss Rimmel Lasting Finish Matte. Goes on so smooth. Um, does not feel super dry, but it does give you a matte finish. And this is, we're talking like, this is kind of classic pink like kind of rosy, just classic color there. So, um, I, I mentioned that in a picture on Instagram and I'm out of Kleenex. Oh, <laughs> I'll just rub that all in. Um, so, uh, I will try to check out uh, the comments. Glammy B says, I've got my conference call on my headset in my left ear and your live broadcast with my computer earbuds in my right ear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would not be able to process that information. <laughs> you must be really good. Um, but yeah, I that's the makeup look I'm I'm going with today. And just experimenting with different things. A lot of people say, sorry, dropping stuff. Whoa. A lot of people say, you know, if you've got a lot of products, how do you keep it straight? How do you, um, you know, think, even think about what you might choose on a given day? And I just try to make it different things every day, if possible. There are some things that I just kind of get in a swing of, like concealer or eyebrows or things like that. But as far as like the color cosmetics go, um, really just trying to switch it up all the time. So this appears to be off a little bit. Like I'm looking at the um, picture here and my lips are not moving as they are moving in real life. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, the hair, uh, the hair was just the, the Remington T-Studio Pearl styling wand. I did it yesterday, so this is like 24 hours later. <laughs> it's just like it was yesterday, only a little bit looser. Nothing gets the curl to last in my hair like um, that does. Someone always has to ask, where's Cupcake? I think she's probably sleeping on her warmer, as usual. The lighting is making your hair look red. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I haven't really thought about going red, red. I just kind of stick with my dark stuff. Although, one day last week, I did give myself, did anybody see my pink streaks that I put in at the ends? That was pretty fun. Um, my only thing is I'm not sure that they don't transfer onto clothing. Like, after I hairsprayed them, I didn't feel like it was going anywhere. 
but excuse me. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, it it was definitely cool to see a little bit of color in my tips. I should do a demo with that wand. Is that a wild fox jumper? Um, oh, I think you mean sure, or, <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's got lips on it, there's no fox on it. It looks like it's sequins, but it's really just flat. <laughs> so, I can't wait for IMATs, I cannot believe, like, one week from now, and a day, I'm going to be going to IMATs, my first ever. So, my vlogs about IMATs are going to be way more like... <laughs> Probably geeky than anybody else's who's been like a zillion times. Sweet Pea, I used um, this from Jessie's Girl. Red charcoal. Um, a Wild Fox is a brand. Thank you. <laughs> um, lashes in the clothing haul. Those were the Ardet... Or, Salon Perfect Demi Wispies, same as Ardell's Demi Wispies. So, yes. And today I'm actually throwing back to the old classic 53s. More natural. Slightly. If you're looking for a natural-ish lash, like I've got those on. See how you're getting a little length? They're shorter left to right. So, um... What brand, which brand is the first you're planning to hit up at IMATS? I don't even know. Whatever catches my eye <laughs> at the start. I, I'm just, I'm going to be overwhelmed. Uh, I'm just going to be like a kid in a candy store, I have the feeling. So, I can't wait. I, and going back to New York, I love New York. Um, I, I was talking about potentially doing a meetup while I was there. And I'm just, I don't even know where to begin. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what places allow such a thing. I have no idea how many people would come, if it would be three or if it would be a couple dozen. I, you know, I have no idea. So I'm really just not sure if I should try to hook that up or not, or if I should just maybe, you know, maybe I get a feel for things the first day I'm at IMATS and like that evening tweet, you know, going to such and such bar or <laughs> maybe people, you know, who are in the area could come. Um, yes, Tyler is coming as well. So if you're coming to IMATS, look for the tallest, blondest guy in the place and I'm probably close to him. <laughs> yes, I've tried the Rocket Mascara. Don't they make it sound amazing on the commercials? Don't they just make it sound incredible? Um, I, I don't dislike, I just spit, um, I don't dislike the length and, I mean, it really it's not that bad of a mascara, but I feel like it makes my lashes so stiff after it goes on. It's like, it doesn't even, it doesn't feel right. Something about it is, is too hard. Uh, it like hardens the lashes. Uh, what videos do you have planned for the future? Um, Hannah, coming in with the big question. Um, let me check my to-do list. Shall I read to you what is on my video to-do list? Uh, what's in my Z palette? Revlon One Brand Tutorial. Um, I've got some new Essence stuff to talk about. You guys are getting the exclusive here. Um, taking off makeup. A bunch of people have asked about nighttime routines and taking it all off. Just the makeup, of course. Um, a spring look. I do have a spring look in mind. Oh, great request that came in yesterday. And I've got them all written right down here in the bottom of a planner. Um, somebody said, making bright eyeshadows wearable. And I'm thinking maybe we could throw in bright eyeshadows and eyeliners into that as well. And like tricks to working in color without making it scream at you because I have become that is one thing like you guys know I, I don't do a lot of incredibly out there looks because I like to wear what I feel comfortable wearing out of the house and for years I've been you know when I was on the air I would sneak in color you know like in ways on my eyes without making it look too crazy and so 
I really want to share some of those ideas um, with you. Um, <clears throat> a request from my girl Mariah. Um, she wanted to see uh, the look I had on in the Try This Not That video that was using the blue Had Me at Hello palette from Wet n Wild. Um, someone had requested doing tutorials for different eye colors. I'm thinking on that. I'm not. I'm not certain if that's something I really want to approach or not. Because I kind of feel like people can, I, I don't want to make people feel like they can only wear certain colors, you know, for their eye color. It, it really, you can do more, do, it, do what you're comfortable with. And then you've got your blue eyes that are like an icy blue, and then you've got your real blue, blue eyes and your blue, green eyes. <laughs> I feel like there's so many different things, you know. Um, but that was a request. Um, someone said, as it gets closer to summer, talk about summer products and beach looks. Tyler Awards, going to be shooting those. Yes, we haven't forgotten. We've just been running out of time on the weekends, but um, we will be doing Tyler Awards. He does like having me here. Yeah. <laughs> I was asking him about that the other day. I was like, so, <laughs> you want me to get out of here and get, you know, <laughs> go back to my old schedule? No, um, but it, it's been awesome just getting to see him in the evenings and not be like, okay, got to go to bed now. I mean, that was a real bummer. So, yeah, it's nice. Um, did I say Essie? I meant Essence. If I said Essie, I meant Essence. Um, I still haven't put my new wallflowers in, actually, from Bath & Body Works, but thank you to everyone who um, gave me the great tip about Ooh, exotic bird. Sorry. Um, everybody who gave me the tip that you can just return those, those ones that malfunction. You can take them right back to the store, no receipt required. Did not know that, so um, keep that in mind for next time one goes out. Um, no, my Almay Get Up and Grow is not waterproof, but Zoe says her... She has the regular one, and it smudges on her. That's too bad. Um, I don't know if you put it on your lower lashes. One thing is that I always pretty much, and I don't know if I just glazed over this in what I put on, um, but I always use the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the lower lashes. So, um... It, that just it never that never smudges. I just I feel like I have a very low level of trust for any mascara that I that goes down there. But Lash Discovery works really well for me. So yes, we haven't chipmunked yet today, have we? Is anybody seeing any little chipmunks because of the springtime? Uh, is anybody watching familiar with chipmunking? Have you already learned how to do this from past live shows? Because if you're new. You put your balls up, you scrunch up your nose. This is the beauty broadcast code. <laughs> if you see somebody somewhere and you suspect they watch beauty broadcast, do that. You'll know for sure. <laughs> Either they'll do it right back at you and start freaking out or they'll look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> Um, I love all the people who say they taught chipmunking to their children. <laughs> it's really good to start at an early age. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, can I comment about Idol last night? Wow. Um, I love Janelle. I think Janelle is my new front runner. I mean, not, I'm not saying I'm predicting she'll win. I hope she'll win, but she's my personal favorite now. I loved what she did to that song and how she slowed it down. Like, she made it real country. She, she actually made the song seem current. This is my problem I'm having a little bit with Idol now is that sometimes the themes, you know, and old music is great. But I can't picture some of these people being on the radio with these songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of these older genres, I, I mean, it shows that they have a great voice, yes. But how does that translate into, like, coming on the radio? Janelle, I felt like, wow, that could be her song, you know? So I loved it. And then 
what was going on with that trio of guys toward the end? Uh, it was Lazaro, it was uh, Devin, and Burnell. And I was like, oh no! Like, it really was like the Hollywood group week where people are forgetting the lines. I don't know if it was Lazaro who was forgetting his line, but it was kind of like... I mean, it was real there at the end because I was not sure if they were playing the blame game a little bit. Burnell was like, I didn't mess it up. You know, like, I, I couldn't quite tell what was happening, but it was uncomfortable, and I wish that wouldn't have happened. Because <laughs> I, I, get, I get embarrassed for people. When I'm watching people in uncomfortable situations on TV, it, like, makes me sit there and be like, Oh, this is not cool. When I see awkward things happen on the news between people, and I'm sitting there like, ooh, I don't like that. Um, and I love Lazaro. I, I think he's so sweet. Um, but I do think, I, I th and I think he's got a big following, but I also could see him maybe going home soon. I mean, I just think maybe just pure, raw vocal talent-wise, um... Maybe he's not quite where some of those other singers are, but anywho, I don't know if anybody watching this besides uh, the one who commented on Lazaro actually watches Idol like I do. Do this, but do a tutorial at the same time. You know, back in the day, I did try that. Um, one uh, Saturday morning, I tried to do my makeup while I did this. It was it was a uh, world's slowest makeup application because I was coming over here and talking about something completely unrelated. Look, look, looking at the comments. <laughs> um, wow. I know where you should meet at the frying pan. It's an old barge turned event space bar bistro on Pier sixty six. Interesting. Uh, emerald, yeah, uh, that is that is the Pantone color of the year is is emerald green, and so I thought that would be a good um, thing to do for the color lovers. Thank you so much to anybody who watched that and gave such a wonderful positive response to that video because I was kind of thinking, you know, I think this could be really good. I think it could be really interesting, and it's just a different way of coming up with the video content than anything else I've done. Um, you know, actually doing something by color. So I'm excited to do some new colors. I'm thinking mint green. I'm thinking maybe some emerald green. There were a lot of requests for lilac and purple because there's a real, uh, somebody pointed this out and I ha would have to agree, um, like the quality of purple eyeshadows. It seems like if you've got a string of shadows the and Maybe it's in a palette, maybe it's in singles. Purple sometimes is the worst. <laughs> Often is the worst. <laughs> um, I am drinking Starbucks refreshers. And I don't drink a lot of Starbucks stuff, but this is raspberry pomegranate. And I just picked up a couple of these when I was at Walmart the last time. It's very, it has a real berry taste to it. Real fruit juice, B vitamins, ginseng. Sparkling green coffee energy beverage. Don't be fooled. It tastes nothing like coffee. <laughs> it tastes like um, like if you took your Sprite and you put a little bit of like berry mixed strawberry pop with it or something like that. Um, good morning from Maine. It is 1235 in Australia. I have not dyed my hair red. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same same color as it always is. Um, but I think something about the lighting has given me a different cast. Christine has been sick for the past few days with a fever. Oh, thank you for tuning in. I hope this makes you feel better. I hope it gives you a laugh or something, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, these are, it's kind of refreshing. I already had a little bit of coffee and so just decided to grab this thing in the jig. Mm. Yes, I, I miss my mom and pup too. Um, 
we won't have an Easter vlog, but I will be, actually I was just on the phone talking with my mom the other day, and the next time that they come down to visit, we're going to shoot several videos, kind of like we did the last time, um, and because I've been getting so many requests for mom. <laughs> And I'm like, Mom, I got it. I'm keeping my own to-do list, but I got a to-do list for you as well. And um, we were talking about her skincare routine, updating that. That seems to be one of the biggest requests because my mom is in her 60s. And so there are some viewers who are very interested in that as well as um, what else was I thinking of? What was my other good thing? I had two other ideas. <laughs> I'm blanking on both of them. Um, uh, lips, uh, spring lip colors that don't feather outside the lip line. She has some real like long wearing things that she's enjoying and she's got like some pink kind of coral really pretty shades for long wearing you know lip colors so that was one thing. And then the other, um, it had to do with eyes I don't know. I think it'd be fun, honestly, to just go to the drugstore with mom and just do a haul or something <laughs> and just, you know, see what she comes up with or that kind of thing would be fun. But I want to shoot, you know, multiple things and, um, you know, just have them that uh, even when she's not here, because we, we don't live that close, uh, but I can be posting that and periodically putting that up. Mom cooking tutorials. Yeah, she can cook. Have her make another pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did anybody? I have heard from a lot of people who have made the pie. That that apple pie recipe that we posted, and they said it turned out great. I'm like that's the best pie I've ever had. Oh, I was the one that once asked you if Tyler has a brother studying at Ohio State. Uh, he does have a brother who for a period of time was at Youngstown State in Ohio, but not at Ohio State. <laughs> does he have a, does Tyler have some kind of twin at Ohio State? <laughs> oh, cool. You tried the Milani brow pin. Yay. Oh, Christine was asking again about I NYC and IMATS meetup, and I was just, I was kind of saying a little bit earlier how I'm not quite sure what to do because I don't know how many people might attend or what, you know, I'm not that familiar with New York City to know where I could host such a thing or if, you know, random stores allow you to just have a meet up in there I'm not sure so I'm thinking maybe just some evening I may tweet out something about where I am or maybe we can just make it a casual kind of get together maybe even the hotel um, that I'm at could we could do something like that there that's an option too so can you tell my six-year-old Kaylee hi she is sick oh she loves watching your videos Oh, hi, Kaylee. Get well soon. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I hope she gets well. Uh, yeah, I, di I did these. I did a little blog about them. Um, pay no mind to the chip. <laughs> that's the frustrating thing about nail art. It goes away. It chips off. I, this is as close to nail art as I get. I mean, I I can't do the little pictures with my <laughs> left hand. Too hard. I don't know. Did you have a lot of boyfriends before you found the one? Nope. I had one. Actual boyfriend. I, you know, dated a little bit, but not much. So... Yep. And then then came Tyler. <laughs> Man, that seems like so long ago. Our first kind of, I, I guess, date or the first reason he had to ask me out was the sweetheart dance junior year of high school. And, or was it, so, no, it was junior year. 
And it just seems like so long ago. And a lot of people say, you know, they, they don't like Valentine's Day or whatever. But, you know, if if Valentine's Day wasn't there and there wasn't a special dance at school, I don't know if he would have gone ahead and asked me. Um, but it's funny because I was kind of cheering with Tyler's sister at the time. And so, you know, we were kind of buddies before me and Tyler really became buddies and we were kind of friends before we started going out and stuff so whoa ah I'm having a flurry of comments I'm sorry there's so much I'm gonna have missed here I'm sorry yes we are high school sweethearts <laughs> um, I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit um, outfit of the days if you want to see them, I feel like I'm not that good with fashion. I mean, I don't consider myself like a fashion fashionista. <laughs> I'm, I I like clothes, but I don't know. If you would like to see them, I could. And I said beforehand, like, all my stuff was just kind of like boring work stuff. So maybe now I'll wear more exciting things like this. What's everybody's current favorite songs? Let's talk about that. I'm looking at my iPad here to tell you what my current favorite songs are. Um, Darius Rucker's version of Wagon Wheel, anyone? Love it. Oh, love it so much. Um... Also, what else do I have on here? Mm. Oh, Sweet Nothing featuring Florence Welch. I know that song has been out for a little while, but I love that song too. Nothing gets me dancing in the car like that song. Do you have a workout diet routine? I do have a diet routine right now. Um... And it involves two days out of the week of, and what, can I, shall I put out a little disclaimer? I'm not a dietitian. Uh, you, a lot of people told me, like, my food choices are not good. Like, on my last thing on my vlog channel, when I talked about drinking Diet Powerade, I got, like, kind of slayed for that. So, um, you may not agree with this, but this is something that has been, a heavily researched diet and two days out of the week if you're a woman you do 500 calories only on those two days it's called the fast diet if you're a guy you do 600 calories on those two days you any days of your choosing today is one of those days for me and then every other day you can eat whatever you want and I must say it has been effective. <laughs> um, I can see a difference in the way my clothes fit, that's for sure, and I've been doing it for several weeks now, and um, so you start off like with a protein, a breakfast of a lot of protein, so some eggs, and lunch is extremely, extremely minimal, and I have heart attack on my thing too from Demi Lovato, um, and then your dinner is for me, the way what I have to stay within the calorie things, I'll do like either one of those tilapia fillets, some sort of piece of meat, lean meat, along with a salad. Snacking is a no. And then on the other days, you eat whatever you want on the other days. You could go out. I mean, supposedly, uh, along with the theory of the of the thing, is that you. Um, you could eat whatever you wanted on the other days. Like if you wanted to go have Taco Bell for lunch every day of all the other days of your week. So Monday and Thursday are my days when I do this. And I've been doing it. And I haven't cheated once on one of those days. So I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a, <laughs> a dietitian, but this has been something that is, I guess, been tested and proven to be effective and to be healthy as long as it's not recommended for children though that's the one thing that has been pointed out I think is that it's not recommended for children yeah it's the 5-2 five, 5 I guess yeah 5-2 diet fast diet and I'm not really watching much I mean uh, generally speaking I eat 
pretty healthy during the week and kind of do what I want on the weekends. So I've sort of kept that mentality even with this. Um, you know, my my days that I'm not doing this diet, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, I'm not getting out of hand. I'm not doing a lot of crazy eating. Are you grouchy on those days? Oh my God. <laughs> the pin is coming to mind. I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry. <laughs> um, I, I What I do is I just stay really, really busy. I mean, if I get into something and I'm very like when I start working on something, when I start editing a video or when I start, you know, shooting something or whatever, I get very one track mind like I'm very, you know, get it done and I don't I don't think much about it. Drink a lot of water. Water, water, water. Um uh what do people dislike? Nobody said anything about the diet yet because I haven't really talked about the diet at length, but as far as the Powerade, people said you shouldn't have any artificial sweeteners. Um, and it's not like I drink, I don't drink a lot of the Powerade. I drink like, you know, one every so often. Tyler drinks a Powerade, so y'all can yell at him. <laughs> um, Tyler is not really doing this with me. He has a lot of situations where he has to do like, lunches with clients and you know business kind of things so it's a little bit harder for him to do that but for dinner on the days when I'm doing that meat and salad dinner he's having the same thing I'm having and then he gets the snack a little bit later and I don't uh, but I'll let you guys know how it goes and um, stop diet we want cup we want cap cake we want cupcake <laughs> So I'm not doing this to go on some huge weight loss thing. I'm just kind of, I mean, my mom was talking to me about it, and I thought, you know, I want to try that and see how it works, you know, just see what happens and just sort of maintain and whatnot. It's called The the Fast, F-A-S-T, Diet. If you Google it, there is a website that has lots of, like, answering your frequently asked questions. And I'll, how about I link to it? Like, the next time I blog, I will, um... Um, I'll put the link up there so you can go directly to it and see what it is. And now I will get Cupcake so she can make her weekly appearance. It's okay. She just had a little snack. Say hello. Are you a sweet girl? Are you a sweet baby? <laughs> All right, see ya. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't quite sure where she was when I was out there looking for her. Cupcake! Did you see her at the end of my last video? Was she not a precious little angel there or what? She was sitting on the little ledge by the flowers. It belonged on a calendar, I swear. <laughs> oh, another word of advice if you're going to try that diet I was talking about. Um, don't look at Pinterest on those days <laughs> when you're not eating a lot. Um, I live in Illinois. Um, I got cupcake at a shelter. Uh, yes, uh, no kill shelter in my area. And I remembered kind of going down there and she was, I think I told, tell the story every time that I'm on here. Um, but she was among some little kitties and she was the smallest one and we got her when she was less than a year old and now she will turn three in June so it is 952 here my time I think I just looked up and I thought I saw Bobby Brown on the Today Show cool yeah she's talking about empowering women <laughs> Mm. 
We had a good um, chat last week about uh, confidence. Did anybody get the Robin Mead book or check it out since our last chat on here? Hi from Denmark. Hi, Denmark and Norway. Yeah, there are so many pets that need to be adopted from these shelters. I mean, all the shelters in my area, like, I remember doing so many stories, and there wasn't one of them that said, you know, oh, we've got a lot of room here. No, they are all crowded, you know, and they're operating on small budgets, and there are a lot of, you know, no-kill shelters where more stuff comes in, more animals come in, you know, what are they going to do? They, re they rely on people to come in and adopt. And so, um, yeah, it's very important if you can adopt from a shelter. There's so many sweet animals. Wow, that was weird. It said like 52 viewers, and now it says 377. <laughs> I don't ever really go to beauty salons, um, and I probably would for my hair if my mom didn't cut it. My mom used to professionally, she was a beautician, so <laughs> um, she cuts my hair. Um, I've never had uh, my nails, <laughs> I've never had my nails done. <laughs> I do it all myself, look at my chips. <laughs> um, I've, I've never had a professional manicure done. I have never had a massage professionally. Uh, what other typical girly things have I not done? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just kind of a little bit of a do-it-yourself kind of person, I suppose. I've never had a facial professionally. Mm. So... Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> you don't go to get your nails did. Yeah, I I I hate having a chip like that. Do people recognize you out on the street um from from being on the news? Yes. Not as much, but occasionally from the beauty stuff. Um but that's always cool. If somebody recognizes me from the makeup, it's always very exciting. <laughs> I'm like, yay, let's talk about makeup. Did you see the cake batter chapstick, honey? I saw the cake batter chapstick. <laughs> this is what I use on my days when I'm not eating a lot. I'm smelling the cake batter chapstick and pretending it's real cake. Um, it smells really good. I think it really smells good. Yeah. I enjoy it. It uses a little, like, primer for, for lipsticks and whatnot. It does make the matte lipsticks be a little bit softer. Oh, I haven't talked about the new NYX stuff yet. Yet. Or the new Mad Men stuff. I'm just chilling. Uh, talking about whatever. Shall I talk about the NYX stuff? Well, I did blog about the matte smoky look one night in Morocco. I like this a lot. And if you haven't taken the plunge to get Urban Decay Naked Basics, this would be a this would be a pretty good option. A lot of pretty shades. I blogged all about it, so I'll just show that. And there's more on the blog. Whoa. Snap. Uh, I got a set of lip liners. Where's the one? Uh, a set of these lip liners before I had the one in red. Very good red lip liner. And it's the NYX retractable lip liner is what it's called. And so I have that one in red, and then that came in a set on Hot Look. That's where I got all this stuff. Um... And so it gives you a set of five. So it came with a red. It came with um, jewel, kind of a, a plummy shade. It came with pink, nude pink, just a soft kind of dusty rose sort of color. Citrus, a um, little bit orangey, but kind of like just a pearly nude looking shade. And I dropped one. And then this other one 
is peony, light pink. So that's cool. I like the thought of a set of lip liners for every occasion. And then the final thing was the matte lipstick. So I mentioned I'm wearing the Merlot shade. Wearing this Merlot color. Sorry, the comments froze for a little bit there. Um, show you that. That's Merlot. Let's swatch on my lips. So these are, you know, not the driest of dry matte lipsticks, but they are a little dry. Ooh, the other day I was wearing this one. Sweet pink. Real pretty, like, fuchsia. Right there. That's sweet pink. Whoop, whoop. Um, then we've got Indie Flick. And this may be showing up a little bit red, but this is very orange. This is pure orange. You see? And finally, Hippie Chic. So this is a light peach. So they were just grouped together in this little set. I did not pick all of these shades out individually. That's what we're working with. And those are all matte lipsticks. So, um, yeah, like them. That was my first experience with NYX matte lipsticks. So, get a wet ones out here. Um, do you get tired of talking about makeup with strangers? Never. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we'll talk about makeup with anyone and everyone who is willing to listen. <laughs> I, and I, if I don't know if you mean people on the street, strangers, or, um, you know, people watching me online. But I really kind of feel like I've, I, I feel like we all share such a, such a similar interest here. It's kind of like we're all we're all sort of friends. So I don't really see it as talking to, talking to strangers on here or anything mm. like that. I think uh, I feel like we all have kind of a bond. Because we've all chipmunked, so you're in my club. <laughs> oh, the Mad Men stuff! Thank you, thank you. Just a minute. Um, can I put it back in the packaging for you real quick? <laughs> It'll be even more exciting for you that way. Experience what I uh, got to experience the first time I took it out of the box. Um, okay. Like that. I'm going. Okay. So, Estee Lauder has a Mad Men collection now. The packaging looks like this. I got the lipstick and the blush, and there was also a nail polish, but I didn't find that quite intriguing enough. And um, if you check out the Estee Lauder website, I'm pretty sure this is still prominently... Um, displayed on the front page and I would like to have a little just to tell you first that I did not buy this because this looked like such a unique amazing lipstick or such a unique amazing shade of blush I got this because I'm obsessed with the television show <laughs> um, so it's not really like I mean I, I may find dupes if I fall in love with these shades I might try to find you know similar things for the purpose of giving people some dupes but the real point of this is that it's the amazing packaging this is a compact of blush that I am never it will never live in a drawer it will always be out displayed somewhere where I can see it and enjoy it um, when I have grandkids someday they will get that little compact pass down to them it is going to be like the type of thing that's in my life forever so that's why I got this it's a you know other reasons besides just a nice shade you know what I mean all right the lipstick comes in a little box here and it's got like a little it's like a little lipstick casket <laughs> it's like the lipstick is sitting in this cute little box um, so you take that out, and it's got, it's this very chic gold container here. The shade name is called Pinkadelic, and it's the Estee Lauder Rich Rich Lipstick. And this is kind of a pink with a little bit of, of pearl to it. Let's...
it's pretty. It's 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 a very pretty shade, but don't get me wrong, it's not like crazy different from something else you could find elsewhere, but that's not why I bought it. So um pretty lipstick though, really nice. And let me remove that swatch. And then the blush. So the blush came in this little box, and you betcha I'm gonna keep the boxes. And then you have this. It's like a little leathery pouch. And then, ta -da. gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. A kind of weighty, compact. I mean, it's got some weight to it. It's beautiful. I mean, it's kind of pops open when you press the button. Little mirror inside. Golden, like as if you would apply your blush with this. <laughs> Uh, it's got the little Estee Lauder. See, I put it all back together so you could have the same experience I did when I got this. And then here is your blush. It's it's not as light as it looked on the website. It's and, and somebody commented like, "I wish they would make wearable shades for women of color." This is pretty deep. This is a pretty deep blush, and I am wearing that. And I swear I look at I look in this mirror and I feel like I've got a lot on but for the purposes of you seeing me here it's so pretty and it's so like it's not just that it's blush it's that it's the Mad Men collection so there's that there's um, a look at it it's what's it called it's called light show and it says Estee Lauder see-through blush I don't know if anybody really educated on Estee Lauder knows what that means but it's just, it's a kind of sheer, but it's still kind of a berry blush. So um, I'll go ahead and keep that out here. I'm going to keep the box and display the boxes somewhere, but I just thought I need to have that in my life. And so, yay! Mad Men Collection! Okay, the comments are coming in. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really neat. Um, I would say the the main thing. I mean, it's a nail polish, it's a lipstick, and it's the compact. The thing that's really the collector's piece, in my opinion, is this compact for sure. And I'll use it and enjoy it, but I will have this compact forever. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. So. Um, my hair is not curly. My hair is naturally extremely straight, but this was done with the little styling wand thingamajig, the Remington T-Studio Pearl. Oh, this is Food Lover's first time catching it live. Woo! First time. First time. That dance was especially for you. <laughs> Derek's Lover 85 says... <laughs> I love that their name is Derek Slover. My grandma has a tube of lipstick that looked like that. Yeah, it's so, I mean, don't you just, doesn't it just make you want to go out in public somewhere, go sit out on a park bench, take this lipstick out, and just, you know, I mean, I want to be seen in public looking into this compact. Love it! And who doesn't love John Hamm, by the way? I'm hearing John Hamm on so many Mercedes-Benz commercials as well, and that also makes me look forward to Mad Men. Uh, oh, uh, Autumn just got here. This is Estee Lauder, and it's the Mad Men collection lipstick and blush. Came in fun little boxes like that. Um, and this will all be recorded, so you can, if you missed anything, you can go back and see what we were talking about before. Um, but thank you so much, Sam Sam. Can I call you Sam Sam Lynn? Thank you. 94. Does that mean you were born in 94? Because I was in fourth grade in 94. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Love Mad Men, love Mad Men. Jen, um, Jen asked, do you think the blush and lipstick would work for deeper skin tones? The blush is somewhat sheer, but, I mean, look at that. There's, 
it's a nice deep color. I think this could work. Maybe not the deepest of the deep, but if you're what you would classify as tan or kind of like a honey, you know, skin tone, I think that could work. The lipstick, I think it's more about preference. I don't know if you like um, pinky colors, a little bit of frost to them. That's kind of what this is. This is this is not super dark though. This shows up as kind of a light, springy, soft pink on the lips. So, yeah. Um, good drugstore foundation that is dewy. Um, the most dewy finish. I think I think L'Oreal L'Oreal Lumi gives me. Uh, not a moist, dewy feel, but it's it does give a little bit of glow to it. Um, Revlon Photo Ready is good, but beware if you have large pores or things like that. I think sometimes it can be a little bit something that accentuates them somewhat. Um, what else was I thinking? Sorry, started reading the comments again. Um, Oh, the one I was experimenting with last week is pretty good. If you're looking for, now this is not overly dewy. It is definitely satin finish, and you'll look at your skin midday and think, did I get a little bit oily? But it's not. It's just the finish of the foundation, um, and it's the L'Oreal Visible Lift. That's good. I tried this, like I said, because Mel told me to, and I know it's Mel... M-P-H-S, but I still like to call her MELFS, because <laughs> that's what I always thought the channel, I thought that's how you were supposed to say the name of her channel. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Um, yeah, Mad Men inspired look with Mad Men makeup, can't beat that, that would be good. Thank you so much. Holy comments, holy commentators. Uh, <laughs> um, we need to start talking about, um, what our phrase of the week is going to be also. Hashtag BB burping. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I am 29. Yep. You all know what that means. Cindy. Next year I'm going to be 30. <laughs> it's okay. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. I feel like I am 16. So, that's cool. Any luck on finding the new Wet n Wild 8 pan palettes? No! I have not found them. And I'm still looking. I may go look today, if I have time. Um, yeah, gosh, I would love to have those. <laughs> I just, it, it's such a quest, isn't it, sometimes, for this stuff? And sometimes the just the act of hunting makes you want it even more. <laughs> um, oh, I, I'd also like to say I finished Downton Abbey, uh, season three. And I don't want to talk too much about it and spoil it for anybody. But I laughed and I cried, I'll just say that. <laughs> I think Tyler almost may have cried as well. So. Gosh, I love Downton. Um, Oh, okay. It's popping up. It's popping up. Um, shout out to e Eline. Eileen. Um, I thought about getting a P.O. box. I've been asked about getting a P.O. box, but I don't know that I want to make people feel like they need to send me anything, you know? Like, I, I don't, I, I feel like it's kind of funny to be like, you know, send me something about, send me stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled that you, if you like watching or if you, you know, stuff like that, but I don't, I, I don't want to be like self-serving about it to like, you must, you must mail me things now. I don't know. Not that it's maybe a bad idea. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Hashtag BB loves Mad Men. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 
Rebecca said you would have a weird creeper sending you random stuff. I, you know, I'm not too scared of the creepers. Um, it's ju it's just that I I mainly it's people you know, people who watch and I care about you and I don't want you going out and spending money on me. You know, I use it for your for yourself and enjoy. Oh, thank you, Emma. Emma gets a gold star. <laughs> Emma says, I look like I'm 20. Without much makeup on, I feel like, you know, if, if I'm not wearing any, I feel like I look younger. But then it's like, and sometimes people say, like, maybe if you look younger, you should just go without makeup all the time. But I like the glam. I live for the glam. I live for the sweatshirts that <laughs> have lips on them. I like bright lips and smoky eyes and all that business so I don't like going with nothing just for the sake of looking like a teenager or whatever people say um, so uh, I live in Illinois southern part I mean maybe that would be Maybe I should. I, I just haven't put a ton of thought into the P.O. Box thing. Woo! Lavinia! BB Spring! I'm a Capricorn. Um, I think as far as the easiest, Barbara, Bar, <laughs> Barbara Tita says, what's the easiest way to put on eyeliner, um, gel, pencil, or liquid? What's best for winged liner? Um, okay, I think it's going it, to, it varies a little bit. If you have, I feel like somebody who has wrinkly lids, it, liquid is going to be the easiest thing because it's going to tug the least. If you have not a lot of wrinkles on your lid, you might find it easier at first to control a creamy pencil like a Maybelline Master Drama or something that is going to glide on smoothly but give you a little more control. But I also would say that the liquid in pen form are very easy to work with. So it takes practice. I spent a long time messing with liquid liner before I felt like it was something I could do relatively quickly without thinking a lot about it, you know. Um, so I think I it varies with time, but I think liquid is probably my favorite for doing winged liner. You can use the gel, you know, gel can give you a nice wing too, but um, there's more variation across the board when it comes to gel liners. Some are going to be smooth enough to give you that wing. Some aren't going to be, you know, quite smooth enough to give a really clean line there. So I can't say across the board go for gel, but I think liquid is best for the wing, and um, you're going to get your comfort level up with liquid. I like doing the liquid on top most of the time and doing um, some pencil a little bit on, like, the outer part here and then smudging some liner, you know, kind of down down underneath a little bit, or smudging some smudging some shadow. What did I say? Liner? Oh, look who just showed up. Let's see if we can show you. Oops, I'm plugged in. Hi, baby! <laughs> Woo! Sorry, sorry for the roller coaster ride. She decided she wanted to be in here, too. Yeah, I, I brought Cupcake in a little bit ago, so. <laughs> um, ooh! No, I do not have my hair color. This is my natural color. People are saying it looks kind of red today. But it's, maybe if I get closer, you can see it. it's just, it's brown. Oh, your husband's from Macomb. I am originally from, like, 30 minutes from Macomb, Illinois. <laughs> I went to flute lessons in Macomb. I taught gymnastics at the YMCA in Macomb. <laughs> Will you ever move to L.A. with the other YouTubers? <laughs> I don't think they're all in L.A., are they? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm happy in the Midwest, really. 
if anything, like the biggest city that appeals to me to live in, um, I could enjoy, okay, maybe not, they're, they're big cities to me, but St. Louis or Nashville would be really fun places to live, I think. Um, and other than that, I think New York. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm very happy where I am for right now. So Cupcake says yes. Don't, don't move me anywhere. <laughs> Comment lag. Comment lag. Whoa. I, how many times? Have, I'm so sorry. I'm just thinking out loud, and I, I probably said a bunch of crazy stuff as I watched these comments come in. Um, yes, coming to IMATS, NYC. Do your friends share the same enthusiasm for makeup and beauty? Um, okay, my, my friend Kaylee is... I, I think she shares some makeup enthusiasm because we kind of, at first, our friendship was bonding over makeup and me helping her with her makeup and her kind of, you know, enjoying the products. And then she goes to another station and helps other people with their makeup. And it's a really, I love that story. Um, but as a whole, I don't have a lot of people in my life who feel about makeup like I do. It's all you all. <laughs> you sitting there watching. You're the one who feels like I do, but not a lot of people, you know, that I just have come in contact with in my life feel like I do about it. If that answers your question. <laughs> I'm the only obsessed one. I'm the most obsessed makeup person that I've met in real life. Um, but I, I hope I go to IMATS and just meet a bunch of other people and make me feel very normal. Um, does your husband love when you wear makeup? Um, I he will say, as any husband would say, you look good either way, right? <laughs> but I know when I look my best, <laughs> and I think you know. Here's the thing: Tyler knows the kind of compliments that make me happy, and if I've done something different with my eyes or different with my lipstick or something he knows to comment on that. Like, he knows, and that was one of his first, like, when we were even in high school and college, like, he would say, oh, is that is that a different color on your eyes? And I told him, I, like, it just made my life that he would notice that I did something, you know, in my eyes. So that's, that's what, you know, makes my day. It's not so much someone sitting there saying as I sit there with no makeup on that, you know, I look beautiful without makeup or whatever. You know, it's, it's, he notices the things I have a, a passion about and he'll point that out. Like this lipstick. Before he left, he said, that's a really pretty color. And, I, you know, that makes my day. So, um, he he knows makeup's my thing, and so when he gives me a makeup compliment, he knows <laughs> he knows that that's a good thing to do. <laughs> um, I haven't used a lot of Mary Kay lately, but I want to try some more Mary Kay things because it's changed since the last time I used it. At least the packaging has, and I had a lot of Mary Kay things like the loose powder. I like the eyeshadows, and I kind of want to you know get back into it a little bit and test it out and see how it works. Yellow Woman says, I am Japanese. What time is it now? Um, it is 1021 my time, AM. Shout out to Dallas! Uh, Merlot. Merlot lipstick. This is a matte lipstick from NYX. And I really like this color. I'm liking it more as I wear it. Oh, <laughs> Do you work out or is your body just naturally thin? <laughs> Not naturally thin. <laughs> I'm naturally, I'm five feet tall and I'm kind of, uh, I guess I'm, I'm a little bit of a curvy shape. Like, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm, I've never been like, skinny skinny girl um maybe I was like as a child but once I started doing 
I swam a lot as a kid, and I did a lot of like tumbling and gymnastics type stuff as I got into high school, and I built up so much upper body and back strength. So I, I and my arms have never gone away. <laughs> so I feel like I've I've got arms, I've got you know chest, mm -hmm. but I'm. I don't work out a lot as much as I should be working out these days, but um, I do. I watch what I, I've been watching what I eat very closely, as I've talked about with this new um, diet thing that I'm on. But I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> and a lot of you are saying, "Yeah, we know you're not skinny." <laughs> but, um, I'm not. I've never been like a just a real stick skinny girl. Um, just kind of a. I guess I was a pretty muscular type girl throughout my cheerleading days, and a lot of the muscle has stuck on me for some reason. Um, yeah. Whew. <laughs> I loved your face when you saw that comment. <laughs> Hello from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, PA. I still haven't finished this drink. Thank you. And I don't... I, I, I have no desire to be an incredibly skinny person. Um, and I think there are skinny people who carry it off well, and like when that's their natural, you know, what their body just tends to be like, cool. But I, I don't have any desire to, like, change my shape to be something that has no curves. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm having a lot of moments today where I'm saying stuff and then I'm thinking, that didn't make sense. <laughs> Hashtag BB Mad Men Glam. Um, Too Faced Natural Face Palette, good for fair skin tones. Ooh. Um, I'm just, the, the one reason why I'm thinking no, maybe, is just because of the concealer. I'm wondering if the concealer might be a little dark for someone really fair, but the bronzer is good for fair because it's, um, it's lighter than Chocolate Soleil. The blush would be good. The cream blush would be good. The highlight would be good, but I think the concealer might be a tid, tid, tad bit dark. Um... <clears throat> Maryland here. Would you ever consider doing the insanity workout? I did uh, very, very briefly consider that workout. I remember I was uh, in a hotel getting ready for a wedding, and it was on like an infomercial. I thought, hmm, that that sounds that sounds like a very effective workout. And then I never went back to. I just, uh, Tyler has done uh, P90X, which I think is, isn't that like, that was before Insanity came out? Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't love just working out, you know, just the act of working out. Some people love pumping iron and running on treadmills, and I can't quite get into that, but I, I, I will work out. I just don't enjoy my time doing it. <laughs> I would rather, I don't know, play with makeup or eat <laughs> or, <laughs> um, I don't know, do other things. It's already 1026. Is anybody else seeing this? <laughs> How time has flown. We have to figure out our, our hashtag. Hashtag of the week. Um, hmm. Hashtag BB. Hmm. Not sure. Hi, Belgium. Best vacation you've ever gone on? Hmm. It's going to be IMATS. <laughs> I think it's going to be IMATS New York. I'm just going to call it right now. I'm going to put my answer, like, fast forward a week and a couple days, and I'm going to say IMATS. <laughs> I think it's going to be so fun. I mean, 
it's like a makeup everywhere. And people who like makeup like I like makeup. And being in New York City, super fun. Hashtag BB Red Lips. BB Where's My Wet and Wild. Be Me Mad Glam. Tid Tad. <laughs> uh, uh, why are you saying Mad Glam? Like Mad Men? Hashtag BB Randomness. That's what this whole thing has been a bunch of random. From me. Hmm. It's 11.26 p.m. in Singapore. Wow. So you are pretty much on the other side of the world for me. And how cool. How cool is it that people can be watching this from everywhere? I think that's so crazy. So awesome. Weird question, but do you like Adam Lambert? Uh, yes, I do. I do. I, I remember really always being entertained with him when he was on Idol. And... One of my old co-workers at work had asked me one day if I could do his makeup like Adam Lambert. <laughs> and I have something on Pinterest about that on my funny board if you want to see more about that conversation. Because um, he asked me if I would, it was all happening through text message and he said, could you do my makeup to look like Adam Lambert? And he sent me kind of a creepy picture of Adam Lambert uh, with makeup on and I said, It'll cost you. And then he asked what, and I said cupcakes. Red velvet. Deal. <laughs> uh, hey, a fresh tube. Hi. Oh, what do you think of people buying designer handbags? Are you ever into designer products? Like some people on YouTube are crazy with their Chanel and Louis Vuitton and Hermes kind of crazy. Um, well, I think... Uh, I, I think it's a person, you know, big purchases or any purchases really are kind of a personal decision. And, you know, some people are into have their different things. Like me, I'm not personally big into shoes, handbags, and um, brand name labels, but I am very into makeup. Ob. <laughs> and so I think we all have our own things. And I think, I don't think anybody you know, needs to be judged for anything they're into. I wouldn't want somebody to, um, I wouldn't want anybody, you know, telling me what to do with my makeup or that I have too much makeup or all that stuff, you know. Um, so I wouldn't say somebody's got too many handbags, but I, I personally am not a big, big clothes, handbag, shoe person. So... Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I went to the Blues hockey game when they played the Edmonton Oilers. Hashtag, is your butt real? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. We can't, we can't leave this until the... the Proper hashtag hits me. <laughs> yeah, something to do with lips. Something to do with lips. Hashtag BB Monks. Hashtag I don't work out. Um, everybody's talking about what time it is where they live. Wow. Okay. Oh, we should do something hashtag BB like worldwide, BB global. Because I feel like we have an exceptional amount of people who are watching from many countries here. Hashtag hot lips. <laughs> mm. I've started watching The Voice. Yes, yes. I didn't see the very first episode, but I saw the um, the second one that aired this week. I love Blake Shelton. I I really like all the judges that they've got. Adam and Shakira, Usher. I think the voice is going to be really good, and I, I hadn't gotten into watching it that much in the past, so this, this year I'm going to get in on it. My evening TV, you know. 
Oh, ob. <laughs> I can't believe I said ob. Uh, do you, oh, yeah, the girl Joey says, do you implement office hours? I work from home, too, and have a hard time shutting things down. Um, yeah, I feel you. Um, because I, in into the evening, it's so easy when you've got an iPad or a laptop. It's like you can be continuously doing stuff. And I do, I have not, like, I don't have a tip for that because I'm, struggling with that myself. Um, I keep messing with, you know, my channel or whatever. What what I'm starting to do is wake up even earlier, um, getting up at 5.30, and I'm going to make that my my tweet and email time. And then just, just get my day started earlier like that, and then maybe, you know, free up my evening time a little bit more. But... Oh, thank you. Oh, you're going to Rutgers in the fall. What? Where's Rutgers? That's up in the Northeast, right? That's is that in New Jersey? Yeah, the Beauty Dolly. Hi, West Virginia. That means we call you Mountain Mama. <laughs> uh, do you like Kate Middleton? Um, yeah, I have no, no reason not to like her. I don't really know her, though. Um, my favorite American Idol singer, this is Janelle. I am putting my support behind Janelle. She's the country girl from Tennessee. I loved what she did last night. I thought it was wonderful. Smart, changing up the song, making it seem like something... Um, you might actually hear on the radio. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry to all the comments that were delayed that are coming in. Um, yes, lipstick, hashtag lipstick casket. I love the things that some people, like, really, really stuck with them from this thing. <laughs> BB chip chip cup mad men red lips <laughs> that pretty much sums it all up cupcakes like will you stop carrying on over there <laughs> I love you baby <laughs> uh, we have 398 people on here right now still thank you so much Leah BB Bold Lip. Ooh, gosh. Are we, we could just sit around all day just coming up with hashtags, couldn't we? <laughs> I like hashtag BB Global because I, I want to shout out to all the people who are watching in a strange time and they're like, I should be sleeping right now, but I'm watching. Like, I can't, I can't believe you're taking the time to watch, but thank you. Well, so yes, hashtag BB Global. That's it. Rebecca Keller wins. Um, uh, Tyler Awards, we plan to shoot that this weekend. Um, do you regret anything with your career change? No. Um, I'm thrilled that I was, that I did it, um, that I took the plunge, <laughs> and I just, I'm loving life. I'm loving what I'm doing right now, and I feel like I've implemented so many new things since, um, I, I mean, made so many improvements to what I'm doing on my channel or through everything beauty broadcast related since I've been gone. I mean, we've got beauty broadcast community now. We've got the weekly live show now. I've got blogging every day, doing more vlogs. You know, I feel like able to just put more thought and energy into my videos and I'm just thrilled for it. And I'm glad you're enjoying it because I'm loving it right along with you. And I am so thankful for the response, the good ideas everybody has all the time. Like, seriously, I read you, you know, the video list I have, and those are so many ideas that did not, like, I did not come up with that. So many of you came up with those things, and I feel so grateful, not just for you, you know, taking the time to watch, but sharing 
Um, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um, but I'm very grateful for you, like, as as friends, because I, I, I don't take this lightly, the fact that you're taking the time to watch something like this or even take, you know, 15 minutes out of your day to watch a video, like, I, that doesn't, that's not getting past me, you know? I understand that everybody's busy and everybody has things to do, but the thought that you would take time to sit and watch a video of, of mine really sincerely uh, means a lot to me. And I just said I don't have any Kleenex here, but I do have a little, oh, the wet wipe won't work. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys. <laughs> Not, I didn't want to get emotional. Um, but I'm really, seriously, I'm grateful for it, all of you. And so, sending you a hug. <laughs> and I can't wait to personally thank anybody I meet at IMATS and if I can't meet you at IMATS I hope I can someday cross paths with you but it's still just know that you know being able to chat with you in comments or on the beauty broadcast community or here back and forth it really is a special thing um, and I, the positivity you're able to share with me um, makes me so happy and I'm just thank you guys so much um, Thank you for taking the time. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess that's probably we should probably wrap it up now. It's been it's ten thirty eight. We've got an extra eight minutes. <laughs> Don't cry. I do, I know I can't stand watching people cry because then it makes me cry. But these are like I mean truly happy, happy tears. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, Chipmunk. Chipmunk to your family and friends, <laughs> and have a great rest of your day. Um, I'm trying to think video-wise what I have coming up, because I usually try to mention that before I go. Um, well, this will be posted on the vlog channel. Be working on the Tyler Awards soon. Working on What's in My Z Palettes, and uh, working on new blogs. So, um, thank you guys. I will see you later. Bye. <laughs>